What's up, guys? It's in Dame. Just got done working out, but I'm doing an introduction video to intermediate fasting because people always have a lot of questions. So we're going to break it down and make videos and talk about it so you understand it. The quick gist of intermediate fasting is to make the HGH in your body, human growth hormone, work for you to burn fat. It's pretty simple. You prolong your fast, you make your body use the fat that's already on your body as fuel so it can burn it up. Simple concept, right kids? And there's protocols. This video, I'm going to be talking about the protocols of intermediate fasting. There's a lot of different ones. There's some that you can even make your own, but there's a lot of basic ones. If you do, for instance, like a 14 and... 14 or whatever usually does not work. Let's just get that out of the way. One of the best ones and the ones that most people can follow is a 16 and 8. What a 16 and 8 means, you'll usually see a 16 and a slash and a 8. A 16 and 8 is 16 hours fasting, meaning you're not eating any food for 16 hours, people. It's just that simple. That's what a 16 is the hours of you fasting. Eight hours is your eating window, meaning from the time that you start eating, you have a gap of eight hours to get in your maintenance calories, your maintenance or your calories that you want to lose weight with. So that's your eating period. No matter how many calories you're supposed to get for the day, you get it in that eating area. If you're somebody that can pack in more food in like one big meal, then you will probably eat more like how I do. I usually eat in a 20 and 4. So that's 20 hours fasting, and that gives you a faux, faux, faux hour eating window. So basically that gives you four hours to eat. You can maybe do one meal and then wait two hours and then have the second meal. Split your meals up like that, but get your calories, base calories in. There's also an 18 and 6 where it's 18 hours fasting, 6 hours, 6 hour eating window. And then there's a 22 and 4 where it's 22 hours fasting and 2 hours your eating windows too. As you can see, there's a lot of different ones because you're going to have people that are in different areas and different places. For me, I usually work at night. So eating at night works for me because when I eat during the day and I go to work, I just don't feel I don't feel right because usually for me, I have to eat a lot more calories than everyone else. My maintenance calories are more. So it, once you get the gist of it and you figure out the protocol that works best for you, it becomes really easy. There's also 24s where you just you fast for 24 hours and then you eat. That one's really optimal for fat burning. That, uh, that's one of the longest ones that I personally think that if you want to do every day, a 24 is okay to do every day or every other day. There's also a 36-hour fast when you're just prolonging it. You basically want to give your metabolism a kick in the butt, so you just do a 36 to shake up the body, and it also helps a calorie deficit. Basically, you're taking calories out. But with intermediate fasting, the main thing I need to stress, and I'm going to constantly stress, I'm going to shake this like I'm shaking you, is do not think this is a quick fat loss thing. That's not how it works. This is a prolonged thing. If you lose, think of it like this, guys. If you lose weight really fast, it's easier to put it on. This is a tool to help you eat better. For me, I see this as a tool to help me control my eating because I'm an overeater. I can put in loads and loads of calories. So for me, it's I need some kind of structure to get sucked in. So thus, a four-hour eating window is way better for me because I can – cram a lot of food into that four hour window and then have a cutoff time. So think about the windows as start eating and it's like the race and then at the end of your hour, you're done with the race. No matter what, no trying to get extra steps, nothing. Done. So give yourselves 
a good eating window for you feel comfortable and fast long enough to where you can handle it also keep something like water in mind my my little thing for especially fasting wise you're gonna think of eating a lot you're gonna think of food you're gonna be like man I want to eat I want to eat something so what I like to say my thing that I use to help me is I like to have at least almost a gallon of water done before I even think about eating a meal because a lot of times your body's signaling that you're hungry and you're really thirsty so keep that in mind you can also have tea on a fast you can have coffee but you want to have stuff that's in the zero to the most 50 50 calories you don't want to exceed that because you know then you're gonna break fast and your body's gonna be like eating mode so keep that in mind zero to 50 is your budget for calories so you don't break your fast now that we got that stuff down kitties happy fasting and remember this is not a short-term thing this is a long-term lifestyle if you want to use this to burn fat you're not going to lose fat you're not going to lose 20 pounds in a month just off fasting alone this helps you control your eating this helps you control the fat in your body this to me this system helps me control the way that I eat and once you have control over your eating it is way easier to get to your goals you think less about food pretty much that's my feeling on this the more you fast, the less you think about, I need to get a meal at this time or this or that. You eat, you do the things you need to do. You drink water, you drink tea, you drink coffee. You get BCAAs, branched chain amino acids. You get your stomach good and feeling great. And then you feel good. Get you some caffeine in. I mean, do whatever. But that's just the real gist of fasting right there. Do what you feel comfortable with. If you don't feel comfortable fasting for 20 hours, don't do it. If you feel comfortable with a 16, do that. If you feel comfortable with an 18, do that. If you, if you feel like a beast like a lot of us have been doing it for a long time, do you a 24. Do you a 36. One of the longest ones I've did is 48 hours. Do a 48 if you feel like doing it. But don't do the pre-long fast every day because that's going to hurt your fat loss and it's going to make your body get used to it. So. Change up your hours, keep your eating right, and make sure you eat good. And try to get some kind of active activity in because just eating alone, it will help you drop weight. But pre-long fat burning, you need to work out and eat good. The combination of that, you're going to make your body into a fat burning powerhouse. I repeat, powerhouse. But... That's intermediate fasting broke down for you. The protocols, the work, the eating. This is not a quick fix. This is a long-term goal, long-term results, long-term eating. It all starts with you. It's all your mind. Can you fast for a long time? Absolutely. Your mind's going to tell you one thing. Stomach's going to signal one thing. Most of the time, it's thirst. Drink water, my friends. Don't have to carry around one of these like me, but try to get in a gallon of water each day. It's very important for you. So that's the fasting video. Have a good one and happy fasting, people. Ding! Your boy Endame is out. Fasting protocol number one.